Hi everyone, the Mature Simmer here. So, on the farm you can see we got 25,000 liters here, and the field is empty. So I have uh, about 94,000 liters to deliver still. So this gets me right about to the needing 80,000. So obviously I need to harvest more sugarcane, plus I need 200,000 in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get this moving along for the remainder of the day and still see if we can get the 94,000 taken care of before we run out of, uh, run out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and lease this harvester again. So to try to not make this horrendous, I'm going ahead and letting a helper drive the tractor there. And I am going ahead and letting the harvest then fall into the trailer. There we go. So I should be able to uh, should be able to pull away a bit, and then this will swing around a different way. And pretty soon we're going to be full. But the nice thing is, then at least we can kind of keep moving along. Now this harvester has like no ability to do anything as far as storing anything so as soon as the trailer is not grabbing anything it immediately stops so I'm just gonna go around four or five times around the outside and then um, although it's obviously not getting the the full location we'll see what happens here at the tree too I'm sure we're gonna hit a bit of a problem that I'm gonna have to clean up Right, so we'll see if I can get this going here now that I've repositioned things a bit. We're nearly full, so I'm pretty soon I'm going to need to start taking the sugar cane to deliver it. But this is what I'm going to be doing going along. So uh, definitely at the point here on the farm just like I am with the Mega VIP series where course play is going to become important for certain things. Um, I don't use it that often, but uh, certainly the goal here is to enjoy the play and not make it insanely tedious. Because I'm certainly also trying to think through on the slurry side what I'm going to be doing with regards to running all those loads along because I'm not sure I can get a much larger trailer and maneuver it. Uh, so if I'm going to have to take you know, 10,000 liters or less and have to transport 272,000 liters, that might be a day-long job in and of itself as well. So the piece that I've always felt um, is part of what I enjoy with how Farming Simulator operates is just because I've got helpers, I mean certainly yes if I throw 10, 10 course play tasks together at once and, and do things which again on, on large maps or lots of work, I, you know that may be part of it is just running fleets of harvesters and so forth but you know, even here, you know, I'm still helping. I'm still going along. It's just making it more realistic in that uh, things can get done appropriately and I don't have to feel that, uh, you know, I've got something kind of crazy going on. Like, you know, the way I had done it before is I had attached that other trailer but that trailer was not very large and so it didn't require me to dump things on the ground we're here I'm still gonna have to dump things on the ground I think to store up for the 200,000 there's no way around it but if I can do five trailer loads and especially once the field is is being harvested a little more uh, in a straightforward manner um, I think it's gonna work pretty nicely 
So let's see here. Should get us down to, I think, what, 54,000? Don't think we're quite going to hit 900,000, given what I was seeing on the uh, pricing. Because, yeah, we're getting basically 16,000, a little over 15,000, so not even 16 as we do that. So I need one more full trailer and then basically another 14,000-ish or so. Because right now it's running at that extra two liters. It's stayed pretty consistent, which sometimes it'll do. We had a floating animal there go by the camera. I'm not sure if you saw it. I barely caught it as well. But if you're looking for something fun, you can back it up a bit and take a peek. But I'm going to continue to harvest things. Then I'm going to be taking 200,000 liters up near the, um, the fermenting silo that we put in last episode. And that will put me in a good spot and then I can determine once again you know, what I do with the remainder of the sugar cane and, you know, I may not even harvest more than I need and just let it grow back and if I need more, I need more, but I'm not looking to dump a ton of things on the ground here and just have them sitting around for a long, long time like I did with that last thing and certainly not doing it in a field where then I have land I could use for something else not really usable because I've got things just laying around. So I'm going to keep going with that and when there's something further to show you I will return. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I've had to make a little bit of a choice here um, as might be expected because of a tool that is angled a bit when it goes as we change directions coming back and forth on the field it just doesn't really get every row. But at this point, I've got 80,000 piled up, so I'm basically going to have nearly 100,000 with this load. But I certainly don't have 100,000 left on the field. So in any event, I'm going to need the sugar cane to grow again to be able to fulfill the next set of orders. Gone too far here. But, yes, I've been working straight through. This has... Uh, I've not gone to bed yet. But at this point, I'm just going to let it regrow because I don't need it until two levels from now. I did complete the sugar cane for level 9 here, but I don't need any more sugar cane until level 11. So I'll be able to harvest the other 100,000, Obviously, I can then see if I need anything else, like if it appears again. Um, I've certainly dis determined I don't really like sugarcane orders. <laughs> uh, they're, they're challenging, to say the least. So, um, you know, it's just one thing to be aware of, that's for sure. So I should be able to just get this to dump here and pile up. And it doesn't really matter how large this pile gets because I'm not going to be getting on top of it and letting it compress or anything like the silage. So I'll go ahead and, and leave that there. And at this point I'm going to go ahead and get a few hours of shut-eye and then I'll pick it up in the morning. All right, so welcome. Decided I'd sleep in a bit, sleep in till 8. All right, so I just wanted to check. So I've got 9,200 liters. Oh, that's of food. Never mind. How much wool do I have? All right, so each pallet is 1,000 liters. So that means I have 1,300 liters of my 21,000. So this is going to take a bit of time. Uh, to get the wool, so definitely not in a massive need of rushing along. So let's just take a look at where we're at. We've completed the sugarcane. I have enough slurry. 
I'll take a look at the flowers and I'm gonna have to see where I'm at in the strawberries. So I think uh, just to keep things moving. Okay, we still have water in the greenhouses, which is good. So I am going to go ahead and start the morning collecting the strawberries here. So I'm going to do that, see what I can get. Obviously, um, you know, I've got 3,500 liters here in, in front of each greenhouse, plus whatever else is stored inside. So I'm guessing I'm going to get a few loads of strawberries to go. I think I can go ahead and do the 18,000 on the wagon that I was working with before on this trailer. So let me start getting that work done and then when I'm ready to take that first load you know I'll know more of what things look like. Alright so I've gone ahead I've got 18,000 strawberries loaded at least I believe that's what I have and until I connect up a, my tractor here I don't really get a read on that definitively. But let me go back here, connect up. Uh, the trailer's bouncing around because it is kind of overloaded, but I did this before, so I think it's going to be okay, and I'd rather, you know, take as full a load as I could. So it is all strapped down. It is 18,000 liters. So basically each... Uh, Greenhouse has 15,000 liters of strawberries, so we're actually in quite good shape. Going to have nearly half of the order, and certainly by the end of the day today, we probably would have half of the order because we might get another four or five thousand liters in in the full day here. So I need to get the strawberries uh, over to stews as well, so everything is going to stews. So let me head on over there. But to kind of further talk about as we drive past the field here, and now in the daylight it's just going to be a little bit easier. Uh, as things were harvesting, it just wasn't hitting every row of sugarcane. I mean, it looks like there's a lot there, but as you can tell, I mean, we, we still got a substantial portion off the field. But given that I need over 100,000 liters still, and basically I had delivered about 50,000 more, 54,000 I think is what I was short. So I had that and the 100, I mean only getting like 150,000 liters off of the field with what I have. And so knowing that or you know knowing that I need 200 or, you know I might get 200,000 although I don't think I would get another 50,000 off of that because what was also happening because the rows are thinner uh, as the harvester goes through the th the output is significantly less because I've really just got one row where I think otherwise it's connect cutting two or three rows of of sugarcane when it grows. So since sugarcane behaves like grass, uh, even though I haven't harvested it all, it's going to start regrowing. And so basically in eight months, so next summer, I'll be able to go ahead and do something with it. Yeah, I have this kind of hanging off the side, so I just need to be careful that I don't clip anything because I'd really prefer to avoid any kind of crazy issues. But as I started to talk about in one of the previous episodes, you know, at this point with the VIPs, I, I think we've got a lot of work at each level, and it's just going to continue to get more and more daunting. So unless I'm having multiple teams working uh, it's it's going to take longer to get things done. But that's okay. That's kind of the process of, of how this works. Now again, because these are pallets, I'm going to need to pull through here. Or, well, actually, I won't pull through there because that's just 
something I don't need to do. I'll go around the back here. And that way I'm not trying to fit through the door and not get caught and so forth. But the pallets get delivered here. So there you go. You can see the strawberries going down. And actually, I thought I needed 98,000, but maybe I only need 90. So maybe I do have half. But this is going to get me 18,000 here. So not quite a thousand a liter, but you know we're up at 910, 911,000 pounds. So definitely doing well. And once we get out of this entire level, you know, we're going to get 200,000 pounds of bonus from the VIPs as well. So it's just going to be a really nice continued payout. And so it. it can potentially turn into working with multiple teams. The challenge I have is just the confines of the map, frankly. Um, the fields are small. Uh, it's very hard to get things automated. I had to stop and intervene many times with the sugar cane harvester. I'm also trying to figure out like what do I what am I going to try to do cuz I may just harvest the center of the field next time for sugarcane and just let it um leave the edges around because doing the headlands was was really really time consuming it got a little bit better as I was just kind of letting it go back and forth and so if I can do that I think you know, I might be able to get what I need off of it. And then it just becomes a situation of maybe I hope and pray that I never see sugarcane from the VIPs again. <laughs> you know, I mean, at this point, we're, we're out to level 12. And, you know, of the four orders, we can four levels we can see at any given time. Uh, we've only got one. Well, I guess we have two of four, so I guess 50% of the levels did have some sugarcane, but there's a lot of other things that they can ask for. So, you know, one can hope, right? I just wanted to kind of show you how that went, see what I was getting on the strawberries. The nice thing is I'm able to get these loaded up pretty quickly, so I'm hopeful early afternoon at best I'll have caught up with the strawberries and then I can try to take a look at something else and what I may do uh, since I don't know what the situation is I think I'm gonna pull this out onto the grass field because there's no reason not to and then I don't have as far to go so I'm gonna get this loaded up and then um, I think looking at the flower might be the next thing because if I can just get something completed again it'll give me a little bit more of a sense that things are moving along as they need to so I'll see you in a bit all right, I'm just going to get myself out of the field here because I do think I need to m start working on some hay and stuff later. So I'll put this back here. So as you can see, we're doing about 10,000 is what was on there. All right, so wheat flour, I've got enough, just enough to fill the order. So I'm going to go drop these strawberries off and then I'm going to head over to the grain mill and get the flour. So you can see I've got 36,000. We're going to get ourselves to 46,000 by dropping these. But I'll see you at the grain mill. So here I am pulling up to the grain mill. So I can see my pallets sitting there. I'm going to work with the folks in the mill to get them placed. I think if I go around this tree, I'll be able to more cleanly circle around here, get myself ready. But let's take a look, because yeah, we may have a lot more than I thought. All right, so that's a thousand. All right, these are taller, so I'm just gonna have to be careful 
because I'm hoping I can get 13,000 in one load, 12,000 in another, and I can do this in two loads, but we'll take a look, we'll see what we can do. So let me get myself loaded up, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I've gotten 15,000 on here. That will be plenty, because again, with 25 is my requirement. No need to really overload myself too much here. So, we can chat as we head back to Stu's here. Because, yeah, I think uh, overall, pretty happy with my progress on level 9. thing that I have been able to maintain is with some planning, I've been able to get myself kind of ready and situated so that when the levels change, I'm not finally starting those orders. So that has been helpful, because obviously getting this wheat over to the mill and having this flour produced has allowed us, while we've been filling the sugar cane, for example, to get this work done and have the grain mill workers take care of that and really be in a great shape to keep moving along. The other thing I'm hoping is, I'm wondering if each bale on the pallet is a thousand liters of wool. I'm not sure, although pallets maybe do tend to be the thousand liters. It just seems like that's really, really slow. Like, I may really be waiting for the sheep to get 21,000 liters of wool, because at this point... Again, I had 25 sheep out of 65 total, so I'm really just looking at kind of two, two and a half times the total amount later. If I have a full sheep pen, and all I can do is produce, say, 3,000 liters of wool in three, four months or something, I mean, we're going to be talking about a couple years before I can do that. And right now, it's starting to look like that may be the challenge, because I think I'm going to have more strawberries than I need. I mean, obviously, again, I can start getting ahead on staging and so forth on the level 10 orders, because I have not looked to see what I could do. I mean, other than the level 11 and having the nearly 100,000 liters of sugar cane sitting there waiting already. But that was just simply because I was renting the harvesting equipment and didn't want to not take advantage of the fact that I had that. Swung a little too wide. I think I caught a post in that fence. But, yeah, Stu's been this, the, uh, not the source, but yeah, I guess it's been my delivery point. How about that? The source of my orders are obviously the VIPs, but clearly they wanted everything over here at Stu's to get going. So I'm just wondering, we've got sugarcane, flour, strawberries. Are they making strawberry cakes or something? They want that all over here together. Obviously they'd have to refine the sugar, but fact that we can even get them sugar here in England is interesting enough anyway. All right, let's see what this looks like. I think flour should make us quite a bit. So there it goes. There you go, almost 30,000, so almost very close. Probably slightly more than 2,000 pounds per thousand liters, so not bad. Obviously, you know, two two pounds per liter. That's a pretty good return. So I don't think I'm gonna hit a million here with the remaining flour, but uh well actually I know I won't because it's two thousand or two pounds per liter, so I'm gonna get about eighty thousand more or so, but definitely a nice quick jump there from what I was doing with the strawberries and the sugar cane where a full load was getting me 
really half that, 13, 14,000 pounds. So having a load that's worth nearly 30,000 before any kind of environmental incentive that I get paid, it's pretty good. Definitely turns the wheat into something very, very different. Now don't forget, we did dro drop a bunch of wheat in there, but thinking I obviously miscalculated somehow, because I think I said I needed 31,000 wheat. Whoop. Swung a little too wide to make 25,000 flour, but I think I'm going to have a lot of flour left over. Right. So it's early afternoon, but obviously given that it's November, sun sets pretty early. So it's only 2.15, but the shadows are starting to get kind of lengthy. So I've got the remaining 10,000 flour. Somehow something was off. I'm almost positive I did check again. Five sheafs of wheat should create four liters of flour. So I don't think I gave too much flour, but I'm just wondering if somehow maybe the math on the output or something of that grain mill is is different than what it's displaying. So I've got probably, I'm probably going to end up with another 10,000 liters or more of flour from what I dropped in there. So as far as crops for the next level, while I was waiting for the trailer to get loaded at the mill, I was taking a look at the information from our VIPs and really all I need to plant are some soybeans. Uh, there's some sunflower and sunflower oil requirements but I already have I think more than enough and I'm trying to remember I may have already started to make the oil and the oil I may have done or well on its way to being done, but even if I don't, I have almost 80,000 liters of sunflowers and I need 6,000 liters of oil and I think it's uh, 35,000 liters, might be 41,000 because I, I think that's what I need from one or the other. Let me just show you so that I'm not talking. So yeah, you can see I need 37,000 sunflowers 40,000 soybeans, and then I'll need tomatoes. And then other than that, it's wood, which obviously just comes from a tree. So I'll just need to take a few trees down until I can fulfill that. But as far as level 10, I think, again, we're still staying well ahead of, of what is needed, which is excellent. Because first I was thinking I'm going to need to plant soybeans and sunflowers, which would be fine. But I don't even really need to do that, so I can probably look ahead and determine if I want to run a few different types of crops through. But this should complete the order here. And there we go, I've got two of s five, I guess thought I had six, but two of five VIP orders. 985. So while it's still early, um, I think slurry is the next thing I'm really going to be able to tackle with any kind of focus, and that's a big, big job. 272,000 liters of slurry. And that may require, I may go ahead and invest in some equipment, because again, now that I'm nearing a million pounds, I think we've safely gotten ourselves out of the position where I have to be really, really frugal with my equipment. Uh, for a while I was holding on to my funds because I was thinking I needed to expand a field. I knew I'd have to buy various productions, but even the most expensive productions, I think, are 110,000 or so. So we've got plenty if we have to, for example, buy a trailer to haul a little bit more slurry. Again, I've got to be careful. I'm not going to be able to get like a normal semi-load and pull, say, 60,000 
here. I just don't think I'm going to be able to maneuver. But if I could even get something that lets me, say, carry 24, 25,000 liters versus I think what I've got is the 8,000 liters because I can use what I've been hauling water with. I believe that would let me haul slurry as well. So I'm going to have to take a look at that. And initially, I almost recall that I think I was debating just leasing a trailer to do that. But it may be worth going ahead and just upgrading some equipment. Because again, we, we have enough that we can do that. So I'm going to take a look at that. I'm going to think about it. Even though I'm here in England, I know, you know Thanksgiving isn't a thing in November in England here. That's an American holiday, but given that I'm an American over here in the UK, I'm going to say that since I worked well, well into the night in October, I'm going to have myself an early November here and make myself a little bit of a Thanksgiving feast and really enjoy myself uh, and the fruits of my labor, because I think today, you know, in the month of November, I think I've done quite well. We've completed the or the uh, flower. We've gotten more than half of our strawberries over. Again, we're in a great spot and we are at the point where we're having to wait for both strawberries and wool. So, again, pressing on and get going to the point of exhaustion doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to go ahead and call it an early day, and I will see you next time.